In the figure above, A, B, and C, D are parallel. What is X in terms of Y and Z? So we look in the answer choices and we see variables. We see variables from the question itself, right, in terms of Y and Z. So while you could do this algebraically, I recommend actually plugging in. So let's pick a number for Y and Z. Let's figure out what information we can figure we can uh, obtain from this figure to then get us a, a value for X and see which one of the choices matches that value for X. So let's go ahead. We first let's mark this that this is parallel. So we'll mark these lines as parallel. Now let's pick values for X or for Y and Z. So let's make Y, I don't know, 50. Let's make Z, I don't know, 60. So what do we know? Well, we know A, B, and C, D are parallel. So you have to remember your alternate interior angles because angle B is going to be congruent to this angle D right here because if you kind of turn your head to the side, you'll see that these are alternate interior angles. So this guy right here is 50. Alternatively, you also could do this guy right here is, uh, actually no, this guy right here is 60 because of alternate interior angles. But either way, it doesn't really matter. We'll do this guy as 50. So what does that mean? If this is 60 and this is 50, this angle right here must be uh, what you need to make up 180 so that this triangle has 180 degrees, so that's 70. Which means this guy right here is 110 because he, this one and this angle, because they're supplementary, must add up to 180. So we know X is 110. So 110 is our answer. Let's see which choice here is 110. So we have Y plus C. That's 50 plus 60. That's 110. But we always check all five choices just to make sure we don't get a double. So 2Y plus C, now that's going to add up to 160, too big. 2Y minus C, that's 100 minus 60, which is 40. Nope. 180 minus y minus z so that's going to be 180 minus 50 minus 60 so it's 180 minus 110 which is 70 too small finally 180 plus 50 is 230 minus 60 is 170 too big so the only one that works here is choice a if you wanted to do it algebraically you also could see okay this angle right here is y because again, of alternate interior angles. And if you remember, an exterior angle, such as X, is equal to the sum of the other two interior angles. So indeed, X is equal to Y plus Z. That's another way to look at it. 